but with just a few brush strokes you can create this beautiful orange pattern and I will show you how I did it. Well hello friends welcome back to another video on my channel. I am picking up one of the many little sketchbooks that I own. Um, this one is a little bit more organized in the beginning and then I sort of kind of lose track of the sketchbook idea. But I created some fun little drawings and eventually I ended up painting this beautiful orange pattern and I wanted to recreate it being that it's summer and all and there's oranges basically everywhere. So um, I'm gathering my materials and I am going to use a little bit of yellow, orange and indigo. Now as for brushes, I am using this beautiful Raphael brush, it's natural bristles and a synthetic round detail brush. These are the only two brushes that I am going to be using. Alright, so after I painted these chickens, let's go ahead and get our little sketchbook ready for the oranges. So I am grabbing my Raphael brush and I'm dousing it completely. I want to make sure that it's very, very wet and full of paint. And I am dragging it in a circular motion. And it is, um, even though the paint is, the brush is very wet with paint, it is difficult for the paper sometimes to absorb correctly. But this is great. This is perfect. I want the texture on the paper. I want my oranges to be juicy and textured like a regular orange that has um, texture on the skin, on the peel. So I am just gonna go ahead and go through the same motion of just dragging my brush in a circular motion and sometimes leaving the texture of the paper to show through. I think this is a very important step. Do not go ahead and fill in every tiny little void because the point is that watercolor is just doing its beautiful magical thing.
Now with the detail brush they picked up in the beginning, I am going to take Indigo and I am going to start um, adding the little stems of the oranges. So I am going to try to do a variation of the placement and I want to make sure that um, the orange paint is at least 85% uh, dry. Like it's very, it's, it needs to be almost dry or else it's going to bloom and expand all the way all through the orange and we don't want that sometimes it happens and that is okay um it also gives it a fun watercolor um dynamism to it um but in general i want to try to do the oranges that are already kind of dry And basically the uh, shape that I'm doing is just like a little U with a stick basically. So just think that this little U gives the orange a little bit more of a three-dimensional round um, form. So I'm just doing little U's and little sticks and if you then add the leaves, which is a step that I'm going to do in a little bit, um, it's just going to look like oranges. Now that I have all of my little stems done, I want to go ahead and add all the little uh, leaf details. This really makes it look really cute and delicate. Now for one of my last details, I am adding leaves on the empty spaces of the paper because I want my oranges to live together in this like 
forest of leaves like i want to create a pattern of like natural elements so the oranges are not just in empty white space like the the little leaves like two three leaves on the empty spaces really make the pattern come together Now for the very last detail, I want to add a little bit of a splash of paint. It gives it these little dots that are just very fun and they give the painting a little bit of a dynamism. It's just like it feels like the oranges are just splashing really. So I wanted to add a little bit of um, orange and yellow splashes and i'm just using my brush and a second brush um, to really generate the splashes so this is the end of the tutorial i really hope you guys like the tutorial let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the materials or the techniques i'll see you guys in the next video